Infinix Hot 40 Pro Review Infinix recently unveiled its Hot 40 series, which slots between the entry-level Smart series and the more capable Note series. The subject of this review is the most well-equipped Hot 40, and we have the so-called Free Fire Edition. The Free Fire Edition on its own is no different from the standard Hot 40 Pro in terms of design or features, but it comes with an extensive retail package, which we cover in the next section of the review. Even though it's marketed as a Garena Free Fire Edition, the device is far from gaming ready. It's more of an affordable entry-level device that offers an alternative to the popular Xiaomi Redmi series, for example, or Samsung's low-end lineup. One of the standout features is the big 6.78-inch display. It would be an appealing offer to anyone looking for a big screen experience on a budget. It may be LCD, but it offers an adequate 1080p resolution as opposed to some similarly priced alternatives with 720p panels. The handset is powered by the Helio G99 chipset coupled with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage by default quite generous considering the sub-$200 price point. Not all phones offer 8GB of RAM, even in the mid-range segment. Other noteworthy features include a 108 megapixels main camera capable of recording 1440p videos, which the Helio G99 allows. Many competitors cap at 1080p video recording. The Hot 40 Pro also carries a 5000mAh battery with support for a respectable 33W fast charging and the ability to charge other devices via cable. These features may seem somewhat trivial, but they add up to the overall affordable package, and they make a difference at the end of the day. It's nice to have a couple of extra useful features when budget is your top priority. We are about to see how the Infinix Hot 40 Pro fares in our tests and against its natural competitors in the next few pages, so stick around to find out. Unboxing the Infinix Hot 40 Pro Unless you are getting the Free Fire edition of the Hot 40 Pro, like the one we have, you will receive a standard retail box containing the usual user manuals, 33W charger and a USB-A to USB-C cable for charging and data transfer. There's also a bonus case for the phone as well.